Hello everyone and welcome to another really awesome game from round 5 of the 2020 FIDE candidates tournament. It's uh, Jan Nepomniši vs Vang Hao and uh, some of you were asking uh, what happened in this game that it's really weird uh, and it is, I agree, but we're gonna get to that. So before we check out the game we do have one photo, uh, so let's just enjoy that. There we have it, Vang Hao arriving at the table, and Nepo ready for the game with his uh, thermos bottle and uh, as you can see Vang Hao brought, brought a banana with him uh, and like I said uh, I will always put a link in the description if you want to check out more photos uh, uh, of the official photographers Leonard Otis and Maria Melianova, uh, you can check it out in the link in the description. So uh, let's check out the game. Uh, uh, Nepo opens with e4 and Van Gaal already uh, showed what he was playing on e4. It is of course the Petrov. So he goes for e5, knight f3, knight to f6, uh, Petrov defense is on the board and the knight captures on e5 going for the classical variation. d6 pushing the knight back, knight f3 and knight captures on e4. We have d4 and d5 strengthening the knight making room for the for the dark square bishop uh, bishop to d3 and now uh, defending it bishop to f5 we have castles uh, by nepo uh, and the bishop to e7 we have rook to e1 and now uh, it's uh, van Hao who, who just castles we have knight b to d2 also c4 is is a very popular move here uh, knight b to d2 and now knight back to d6 avoiding the trade on e4 uh, and this is uh, th this is what is usually played here uh, so knight to f1 preparing to bring the knight to g3 or e3 bishop captures on d3 queen captures and now c6 strengthening the center uh, and here there is one game uh, mvl played against anand that continued knight to g3 that ended in a draw but here we have bishop to f4 instead by nepo uh, we have knight to a6 now, now preparing knight to c7 followed by knight to e6 and here there is one game where queen to b3 was played, uh, putting pressure on the b7 pawn, but here we have h4 by Nepo, uh, in the style of alpha 0 of course, uh, and it is as of move 13 that we have a completely new game. So pretty much in every game now uh, we, we have someone uh, uh, breaking the, the line, the known line with h4. Uh, and of course it's off limits uh, because the knight would be hanging after captures, uh, the knight just hangs here and you blunder a piece. So uh, here we have knight to c7, just continuing with the plan, and now knight to g5, threatening checkmate. Seems barbaric, but if it works, why not? Uh, and the Van Hao doesn't want to spoil his pawn structure by playing something like g6, so he instead uh, he just uh, picks up the knight. So we have captures, captures, and then now f6. And although uh, you should be very careful when you're weakening the king's position with a move like f6, but here it does seem to work. So bishop back to f4, and now queen to d7, preparing to trade off uh, rooks along the e-file. Knight to g3 by Nepo, and now rook a to e8, offering a trade here. We have bishop captures by Nepo, uh, we have queen captures, and now knight to f5. And now this is an excellent square for the knight, so uh, at least something to, uh, that you gained uh, by white. Uh, queen, to, queen back to d7 and now queen to h3, defending the knight uh, and also threatening knight to h6 check which will come uh, as a big loss for black as you will blunder your queen. So of course king to h8 preventing that and now uh, not, not uh, interested in facing g6, he really likes his knight there so h5 taking control of this square here. Uh, we have rook captures on e1, rook captures, and now, uh, of course, uh, Wang Hao wants to trade the uh, the other pair of rooks as well. Qu uh, rook to e8, uh, we have captures, and now comes knight captures. If queen captures, then it could be really dangerous after uh, after something like h6, g6, knight g7, and uh, it's just ugly for black. Uh, it's hard to say how you will get uh, get your pieces into the game, and you will constantly have to worry about about the back rank. Uh, not 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 uh, very enjoyable. Uh, so instead we have knight captures here. Uh, and now the knight also helps out with the defense of the g7 pawn. Uh, and now comes uh, g4, just strengthening the knight here, and Nepo will uh, look for his chances elsewhere. Uh, we have a6, preparing to push on the queen side, and now b3. Uh, we have queen to e6, and now not allowing any queen to e1 check, infiltrating, uh, so knight back to e3. And here knight to d6, with access to e4 square. Uh, here Nepo says, okay, now, now we go for it. h6, uh, and of course Van Kao blocks with g6. Uh, and here, uh, a beautiful move by Nepo, he plays c4. And c4 
it does seem like black is attacking the c4 square three times so what's what's the idea behind the pawn sacrifice well uh, we have a capture once d captures on c4 b captures and now the question is can the c4 pawn be captured so it's a good a good uh, ac exercise for you feel free to pause the video and try and figure out can the c4 pawn be captured while i give you a couple of seconds so uh, for those of you who decided that the pawn can indeed be captured, yeah, you, you, you just lost the game terribly. Uh, and for those of you who decided that the pawn cannot be captured, uh, congratulations. And also for those of you who just want to enjoy the show, because if captures, captures, and captures, then uh, white wins with queen to h2, and there's nothing black can do about it. Uh, the threat is just... Uh, uh, check here, which uh, which would be which would be devastating, uh, as the king cannot uh, escape here. So you will, you're just gonna start losing pawns. So let's say we go king to g8, uh, but still it's it's just a lot of pawns. Check king f7, queen captures here with check. You're gonna have to go king to e8. You're gonna capture here, create a passed h pawn, and it's uh, it's pretty much done. Uh, and uh, on the other hand, after queen h2, if you try something else, like for example queen to g8, uh, that's also pretty bad, uh, as now you're getting queen to d6, going after this pawn, and again, there's there's nothing you can do about it. Uh, if queen to f7, uh, just uh, getting, uh, uh, just trying to defend the pawn, then you again allow check along the back rank, and there's just uh, there's just no way out here. Whatever you do, uh, let's say this uh, again, just check, and it's game over. You have to block, uh, but now captures with check, you have to. To give up the queen and its mate. So uh, a, a nifty trick by Nepo. Uh, so of course Van Hao plays king to g8. He doesn't want his king all, all the way there to allow such trickery. And now queen to h2. Again uh, with the same idea. If you capture then the queen is able to go for queen to b8. So king to f7 and now uh, as uh, such, such uh, things are no longer possible c5. Uh, uh, getting the pawn to safety and also the, this pawn will nicely blockade uh, white's entire queen side uh, if, if uh, such an endgame ever arises. So knight to b5, keeping an eye on the c7 square, uh, but Nepo now goes for queen to b8. And here uh, we could say that we have a critical moment in the game. Uh, so here uh, Nepo decided, uh, well, he has to keep an eye on the b7 pawn, but also uh, there's the there's the queen to h8 idea. So so what do you play here that allows you to, to escape both of those ideas? So here uh, Van Hao played queen to d7, and it's a shame because it's actually queen to e7 that you have to play, but it's uh, from this position it's... Uh, it's hard to decide uh, on such a move. Uh, uh, we, we will discuss it why. Queen to d7 was played. Uh, and now, of course, as you can no longer capture here, uh, queen to h8. Uh, threatening to capture on h7 with check. So king to e6. Uh, but now comes the move that perhaps Van Hao missed, f4. And now the problem is you cannot allow f5 with check. That's game over. Uh, so you have to do something about it. Uh, knight captures on d4. Here Van Hao grabs a pawn and he prevents uh, uh, the push f5. But uh, he allows something else. Queen to g8 with check. And now you don't really have any options. If you go here then you start losing all of these pawns with check. And then the h pawn just marches forward. So you have to block with the queen. So here Nepo repeated once. Uh, queen to c8 check. Queen to d7. Queen to g8 with check. Queen to f7. Uh, and only now played queen to d8. Uh, and uh, now the, the problem is there's not much you can do here. Your knight hangs here. And uh, you don't really, you don't really have uh, a good reply. Uh, what do you do? For example, if you move the knight knight b5, a4 just kicks it away. So not not much you can do here. For example, a, a knight b5, a4. And what do you what do you do with the knight? There's not much you can do. For example, if you try something like knight here, uh, then it's just queen to d6 checkmate, and uh, well, that, that's just it. So here, uh, Van Hao decided to block with queen to d7, but now Nepo finds it. Uh, <laughs> and that is f5 with check. Uh, I didn't ask you to pause it because we already discussed f5, so I, I imagine all, all of you were looking at the move, but it's uh, of course just a deflection. You want to get the king away from the queen. G captures, captures, and now there is nothing more to be done here. The king doesn't have any squares. The king does have squares, but uh, no squares that are guarding the, the black queen. So here Van Hao of course captured, and only now do we have a trade. Captures, captures, and the knight captures on f5. 
Here Van Gaal played king to e6, but after knight to e3, it was also in this position on move 43 that Van Gaal resigned the game and another excellent victory for Jan Nepomniši in the 2020 candidates tournament. Here, okay, uh, he does have two pawns for the knight, but it's it's just unplayable. Like we said, this pawn controls the entire queen side, so you don't have to worry about that, and you just start improving the position with your king. So one line that we can show. Also, uh, the knight and pawn prevent the king from uh, from reaching the pawn. You would have to go something like king e5, but then it's not a problem. Knight c4 check, you're going to go king d5, knight b6 check. And again, you cannot capture it, and then the white king just starts marching forward. If you capture it, then you start losing everything. Check, king d6, you're going to capture here. King e5, you're going to capture here. You now have a passed pawn, and it's just a game. King e6, you're going to play knight f8 check, king f7 and h7. And that's it. The knight protects the pawn. You cannot capture the knight because of h8 queen. And that's just it. You have to play king g7. And then the king starts going after these, these guys. And that's just it. Uh, so, uh, some of you said that maybe it was a bit premature. But of course, Wang Hao knows that uh, Nepo can, can win this endgame in his sleep. Uh, but now, we return to the, to the crime scene after this... Uh, Queen to b8 move, we said that queen to e7 was better. Why queen to e7 was better? Uh, well, simply because the same line no longer works, because the king now has an escape route, because after queen to h8, you're going to play king e6, and now f4, yes, threatening f5, but you don't care. Knight captures here, and now after queen g8 check, you just run away. King d7, the game continues, you grab some material, and, uh, and, and, and we continue playing. So that's basically, uh, instead of this queen uh, being on d7, now the queen is on e7 and uh, the king has an escape route via e6 and the d7 squares. So that's that's the issue with queen to d7, basically you've just prevented your king from, from escaping. Uh, but hard to see in all of this madness and Nepo uses it to... Uh, to score another win in the 2020 candidates tournament. So we're going to show at least one more game uh, from round five and then we're going to discuss the standing. So I'm not going to show it now. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's the game. I do hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I would like to thank um, uh, Shintian and Lea Lin, uh, reporter, uh, Zhizhou Wang, Wang uh, Whitback Holdings LLC, and Simon Johansson for your contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot. I really appreciate it. As usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you soon continuing the coverage of the FIDE Candidates Tournament with another game from round five. So thank you all. I will see you soon, and have an excellent rest of your Sunday.